So hello there everyone and welcome back to another video from me today. Um, I did put out a video yesterday looking at all of the changes that came to Portal in update 1.1. You've probably seen that already but if you have not had the chance to have a look please do check that video out by clicking the link at the top right hand corner. There were so many changes in this update um, there was quite a lot to get through but it has been pretty well received it looks like uh, looking at the feedback on my videos and now in the wider world on twitter and discord um on the back of that this channel is all about putting out guides and tutorials um, and things like that as well as gameplay of course uh, and i thought there isn't really any information out there at the moment for newer players on how they can access or play the new air superiority and ground superiority modes i have a feeling that they're going to come to the main portal game experience screen soon so probably going to be put out as one of the weekly or bi-weekly experiences through portal but maybe you're a newer player you don't understand how it all works and you really want to put together your own little server experience to play with your friends or share on portal that's what we're going to run through today we're going to have a look at the basic setup of a server for earth superiority it really is very easy for newcomers to get this started and then we'll just have a look at the few of the options that are available to you if you want to make some subtle changes as always if you like the content if you learned something from the video please do click on the like button and please click subscribe if you haven't done already both of those things do help me with the youtube algorithm and of course if you click the follow button you're going to get up to date with any later videos that i release thanks very much right let's crack on and get you started on setting up these two new modes in portal So first up, before we get started, we're not even going to enter into the web builder or go into the portal experience builder. We're just going to show you how to set up this experience without even doing that straight through the game so you can get started straight away. So if you go to the portal option and click X, you'll be taken into the portal screen. Uh, you may well have already seen this if you've played through the portal browser already. And these are the three experiences that are listed at the moment for this week. Uh, I suspect that air superiority and ground superiority are going to come to that soon enough anyway. But what if you want to get your game started straight away? Well, really very easy to do that. So we are going to host our own experience. Uh, and if you've done this before, you'll know which way to go. We're just going to go across. Uh, these are all my experience that I've uh, set up in the web builder. That's not where we're going to go. We are just going to go straight across. We're going to skip past the official experiences and we're going to go to custom experiences and you'll see well you saw it right down there at the bottom already these are all of the custom experiences that are already set up by ripple effect through the portal browser and we can just choose one of those and get our game started straight away so in this case i'm going to click on air superiority now it's worth bearing in mind that this is not customized when you do this you're going to get a 32 player air superiority mode so that's going to be 16 versus 16. it's going to cycle through all of the maps that are available for air superiority and brilliantly you're going to get the air vehicles all of the air vehicles that are available as a selection for each particular era or map you're playing on so if you're playing on a battlefield 1942 map you're going to get the battlefield 1942 fighters and bombers to select from and obviously if you are playing on a later let's say battlefield 2042 map you're going to get available the um, fighter jets and the helicopters from that later era so if you want to get your server started all you've got to do is enter your server details so we will just put on there er superiority superiority and yes you'll notice i'm doing this through remote play at the moment because i'm going to switch over shortly and show you how to do all of this through the web builder and then we're going to put in a description i'm just going to call this test there we go put that in there and then obviously we can have a password and a match message and when we're ready this is all ready to go we can just click on the host server button and it will launch our air superiority mode good to go you can see we're going to go into the battle of the bulge map so this is going to be battlefield 1942 era vehicles so we should get a selection of vehicles from there you can see it's one out of 32 in the lobby so 32 player 
Her superiority, very easy to set up for you and your friends. Uh, and we've got 14 seconds to go. We'll just hang around for a second and show you how this works when we spawn in. Um, but yeah, you can run this, take the password off, set it up on portal, see if you can get anybody to join you. Give it a really, really interesting name, obviously not test. That's not going to work particularly well. Uh, you can see I can't spawn in uh, on the map because obviously this is Earth Superiority. I can only select a vehicle and I can select from the World War II era vehicles. And you can see that there are 24 vehicles available to me. If I select Stuka, off we go and into the air superiority mode we go and that's it nice and easy to set up a server for you you don't even have to go into the experience builder we are going to have a look now at the experience builder and see what options we can get once we are in there as well So here we are once again back in the web part of Battlefield Portal and you can see uh, we've got the usual screen where we can set up our experiences. If you've not done anything like this before, all you need to do is go to portal.battlefield.com and then select Browse Experiences. Make sure you've got an account and get yourself signed in. And then you will find, if you've got nothing created, obviously most of you are watching this are probably long time watchers of these videos or creating experiences yourself. So you will probably have things listed under there. But if you've just signed up, you'll have nothing listed under there. So because Earth Superiority is the new mode, we have a number of ways of accessing it. The first one I'm gonna do is nice and easy. So we are gonna use the templates that Ripple Effects have provided and just modify that. So rather than clicking on my experiences just here and creating something new, we're gonna go straight over to the custom section in the same way as we did through the game. Here are all of the custom templates for us that are available. You can see we've got tank superiority, which is 24 versus 24, and we've got air superiority, which is 16 versus 16. On this occasion, let's modify the tank superiority mode and you will see that straight away everything is populated. We have the ground superiority mode automatically selected. And if we look at the map rotation, you can see that they have added four maps for us, four of the small maps. There are some other maps already available for us here if we want to some with some extra space and a medium sized maps uh, but this is already good to go so if you only want to make some minor adjustments to the template you can if you want just ignore all of the extra settings and things that you need to know just go through let's just do that one more time let's go through browse experiences click on custom select the template that you want so we're going to select tank superiority and that gives us all of the settings that we need uh, already set up there's actually nothing else we need to do with this but this template is just the same as it would be if we'd selected it through the game so unless you want to make some alterations to it you could just host the template through the game but we may want to make some changes because we may want to maybe add on extra maps which we can do through this and then we may want to increase the number of players. At the moment, it's set to 48. Now, it's set to 48 because that's actually the maximum number of uh, vehicles that you can have in a game at any one time if the passenger seats are enabled. We'll come on to that in a moment. But let's say we want to add some restrictions. Let's say we don't want it to cycle through vehicles for an era. We want to select specific vehicles that we want to play with. Well, we can do that. It is gonna narrow down our options. So as we scroll through the maps or as we play through the maps, we're only gonna be able to play with the vehicles that we've selected. But let's say we just want a World War II tank battle across all of the maps. Well, we can do that. We do need to unlock these restrictions. You can see at the minute they're not unlocked and that's because we We've set these restrictions to be the map default. So we're going to go with Battlefield 1942. We're going to select from those choices. You can see that the restrictions themselves have now unlocked. We can go into vehicles and you can see that at the moment we have heavy tanks unlocked, 12 on that side, and main battle tanks unlocked, 12 on that side. And we'll just have a look on this side. We've got the same. We've got Tiger 1 and we've got the Panzer 5. Now let's say we just want to have heavy tanks and no medium tanks. Well, let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. And now we just have 12 heavy M10 Wolverines on this side 
and 12 tiger ones on that side let's say we've not we've not quite reached our vehicle limit here so let's add some more on let's say we want 24 of these instead well we can do that let's say we want 24 of those as well we can do that and there we go we've now got our 48 available vehicles if we want in there um, but we have just deselected the main battle tanks uh, and the medium tanks and we now only have heavy tanks so there you go you can customize this air or ground superiority it works exactly the same way in that you can increase or decrease the number of tanks or uh, helicopters or planes or whatever it is that you want to alter you just need to make sure that if you're going to do that that you deselect the map default and you select the era that you want so you can see that it doesn't like me changing it because it's going to alter the settings for me so if we switch back to map default you'll see that we can now no longer edit the vehicles because they come as default with each map and we have no control over the vehicle limits or the amount of vehicles that are in there hope that's helpful now um, a couple of finer points let's just go back now that's all ready to go actually so we can save that let's call this uh, ground superiority um, I'll just call it ground for now and I'll put in there a test and we can create that as a mode and once that's created you'll find that in the host section under portal and you can share that with your friends i'll put the code don't, don't bother with that code i'm going to delete this experience once we're finished uh, but you can share the code as you would do any other experience or you'll find it under the host section in portal in the game So last but not least, we can fully customize this game mode if we want to. This video is really for beginners, so I'm not gonna go through all of the customization options. I'm just going to show you some of the options that they have changed in order to make their version of ground superiority work the way that it should do. So we're gonna create a new game mode. We are going to select custom and we are going to select, in this case, let's select Air Superiority. We want an Air Superiority or World War II fighters all the way through. So the next thing would be, once we've selected Air Superiority, now bear in mind, you don't have to go through all this. There is a template there already, which is easy to use, but this is just for the sake of me being complete in this video. We're gonna click Map Rotation. Let's just add two maps this time. Uh, we're only gonna select the World War II maps. Let's actually select a couple of others as well because these are the larger versions. I did mention in my other video, the difference between the smaller maps and the larger maps is the number of objectives that are available. Um, so if you want more objectives, uh, with, with the small maps, you get one objective. With the larger maps, you get three. I think it's three anyway. And then we've got things that we can set in here so we can change the maximum number of human players. You can have a maximum of 52 vehicles if you have the seats turned off. We'll get to that in a minute. So I'm just gonna set this to 52. So now we've got 26 players versus 26 players. That is the core game mode set up. Very similar to the template that you provided. We've just bumped up the maximum human players. Under modifiers, there's a couple of important things that you need to change. Um, I've not really checked out what settings that they've changed under the gameplay section just here. Um, there's really not much there to do with the vehicles, but we do want to make a change underneath the soldier section. So if you look under the soldier section, you are going to see this on foot deployment. If you're gonna have a ground or air superiority mode, you really need to turn off on foot deployment. If you have it on like that, soldiers can deploy on the ground and you will get players on the ground. Now, maybe in your ground superiority or air superiority mode, you might want players on the ground. I don't know, you might want them manning air defense systems, or you might even want some ground vehicles to take out the air. So the objectives are high up in the air, but you have some ground-based vehicles available to players that can take out the flying air vehicles as well to prevent them from getting to the objectives. The choice is really yours, and you can customize this to however you want. Uh, for a pure air superiority mode, you want to turn off on-foot deployment. If you want to create a little bit of a mix, turn on on-foot deployment. Right, let's have a look at a couple of other bits and pieces as well. Under the vehicle modifiers, you will see this, which is combat vehicle spawn type. Now, if you're making a pure 
or a superiority ground superiority mode you want to make sure that they can only call in the vehicles from the deploy menu but but again that's entirely up to you but this is a pretty important feature of the web builder um, you can increase the rate at which vehicles are available by reducing the vehicle spawn delay multiplier so that will mean that the vehicles can be respawned very quickly um, just on a side for this, if we want to just make the soldier deploy a little bit quicker as well, we can turn that down. So if you want people back in the action very quickly, the vehicle blows up, uh, you want them back in the action, turn down the soldier redeploy delay multiplier, turn down the vehicle spawn delay multiplier, and you can get back in the action very quick. There's obviously a bunch of options under uh, vehicles just here that you may or may not want to alter. Uh, to change things but a couple of other features that are pretty important in these modes you may want to turn off exiting vehicles again this is to go down the purely air or ground superiority modes turning off exiting vehicles means that once a player is in a vehicle they cannot get out of that vehicle makes absolute sense so if you set it so that players can only spawn in vehicles they can't spawn on foot if you set it so that vehicles are available only from the deploy menu and you set it so that players cannot exit a vehicle, uh, then you've got your settings really for a purely uh, or ground based vehicle mode. Last but not least, I did mention this setting, which is passenger seats. All this means is a vehicle cannot have any soldiers in the passenger seats if it's turned off. I did mention this in my video that I did the other day, um, but all that does is it increases the amount of vehicles that you have available in your game mode ever so slightly. So I think it goes from 48 to 52. So it goes from 48 vehicles being available with the passenger seats on up to 52 vehicles being available if you have the passenger seats set off. That just about covers all of the settings that you need if you're new to this to set up your vehicle or air superiority mode and customize it however you want. And of course, after that, you're back into restrictions. If you set it to map default, you get the vehicles provided to you uh, as you work through the different game modes if you want to refine that or customize that a little bit more you need to select the era that you want and then go into the vehicles and alter that so in this one let's set ourselves up with a fighter plane only mode uh, world war ii fighters we've got 52 vehicles available because we turned off the passenger seats so let's have 26 fighter planes on this side, 26 fighter planes on this side. This is going to be epic, a brilliant World War II battle. Save it, whatever you want to call it, World War II fighters, we'll call it there. Oh, not fighters, World War II fighters. Uh, give it a description, call it test, create the mod and you are good to go. You'll find that that mod is now available in your game under the host section in Portal. And you can see, still quite generous, player XP, ribbon XP, and weekly missions. Just don't get your mastery XP. It's a small price to pay, I think, for a hugely brilliant experience. I'm looking forward to later on. I'm gonna try and run a World War II Fighters experience. I really want to try and get a load of people into a map playing with World War II fires. We'll see how it goes um, later on this week. You never know. I'll see, I'll see what happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and plan something. Right, that's it for this video. I hope that was useful very quickly uh, for newcomers to Portal, giving you a little bit of guide on how to get your own air superiority, ground superiority mode up and running. Some ideas for customization. Have a go, play around with it. If you have never set up a Portal mode before, here's your chance. Why not? No rules editor needed, no custom logic, just a great straightforward game mode. Right, thanks very much for watching this video. As always, once again, if you did get anything out of it, please do consider clicking the subscribe and the like button. Click follow for all of my guides and tutorials that are upcoming and some of my new gameplay videos. Really, really enjoying Portal at the moment. Some great stuff and looking forward to the future. Who knows where we'll be in a month or two's time. Take care, everyone. Until next time, ta-ra.